Now, if you're not familiar with fraud-related chargebacks, they are, it, it's a transaction when the customer is not present and you can't identify them while they're over the phone. So they may be genuine, they may be not. How do you identify them? There is not, at the time, there was not a digital system in place where you could verify them over the telephone. It was just as simple as that. So if you delivered them to a, uh, the high risk transactions were obviously to a third party delivery address. And if you delivered them to that third party delivery address, you were exposed to what is a fraud related chargeback, where is the genuine cardholder, if it is a fraud, they will contact their bank and they will say, right, I didn't authorize this transaction, but I've been charged for it, it's on my bank statement. The bank then initiates a chargeback, so the business itself, they lose, the bank's taken out of the bank, but you've also lost the stock as well. And the letter that they send you, which is a chargeback letter, you, is, has a cost of around 25 quid just to rub salt in the wound. So then you, in a panic as a business owner, because it's never 20 or 30 quid, a, a chargeback, it's always a good couple of grand, right? So in a panic, you then write to the bank and you produce the proof of delivery and the invoice, say, no, this is a valid transaction, and the bank writes back to you, and then they say, well, sorry it isn't, because a genuine court holder has signed a form here saying that they didn't authorize this transaction. And then they charge you another 25 quid for that letter. And if you keep responding, it's, it's 25 quid every time. Until you get to like 100 pound, where they say, well, enough's enough. So you've lost the goods, they've taken money out of your bank, you've got all the labor costs, don't forget as well on this, and you've got the delivery costs, and dealing with it, the administration costs on top of that, and you've had the expense of the letters and the administration from the bank as well. So it's a, it was a, it's a major problem. And um, a few sectors, especially the hospitality industry and event industry, are riddled with this kind of, this kind of problem. So what do we do? <clears throat> so 